Malta Massey, bringing you the latest happenings in dancehall and reggae music. Welcome, it's Malta Massey, and here are the stories making the cut for today. Marian Hall sends us a reminder. Bounty Killer condemns Shabarang's team after they dissed Jashi. Michael Lee Chin's luxury yacht docked in Port Antonio. Stay tuned for the stories in detail, and remember to follow me on Instagram at Malta underscore Massey. Yeah. Rise to my fame The whole world I watch man never yet lame Energy, energy No weakness Stop. Legendary Boys in my name Shambhala Rock is the name of this one massive From the artist who told you to love what you got Cause next year now got easy His name is Guidance He switched up his style to give you an upbeat vibe That makes you want to move your body He's calling out all the dancers Locally and internationally To catch the dance move Shambhala Rock This is a simple dance move that everyone can do From the kids to the elderly The rhythm is something that you don't hear frequently It sounds like a fusion which will draw international listeners special big ups going out to energy boise and real flavor shambhala rock is available on all digital platforms or you can just click the link in the description box below and check him out on instagram at guidance 876 make him no say Marianne Hall ignited the internet once again with this picture but this picture is just serving as a reminder of her upcoming single that will be released this Friday December 17 it's called if I was famous you can pre-order your copy by visiting her Instagram and clicking the link in her bio. On a radio massive, trust me, I can't wait to hear this song. So, on a see Michael Lee Chin's luxury yacht as yet. On a see boy, it was docked in Port Antonio. Check out this video. Massive mother love to see both five more Ademiats there that are owned by Jamaicans. Uh, I park up down a port Antonia to a male one feel so let me know in the comment section below. So I don't know how far on in the whole Jashi saga, but for those of you who are not up to date, let me get you up to date. After Jashi's viral interview where he was talking about artists such as Shabarangs who are not giving back to the young artists and are trying to help out young artists, according to Jashi, Shabarang's team, specifically the road manager, said some things, of course, such as calling the youth piece of shit and them something day, and I call Jamaica at that country in this article that was published online clearly clearly a lot of jamaicans are gonna feel perplexed about his statements one such jamaican is bounty killer he uploaded this article to his instagram page response to shaba references made to an article published online monday december 13 2021 this statement made by shaba's management team is seriously troubling and alarming i find same to be very loud disturbing and disgraceful what makes it worse is that the statement is not only geared directed at the young First Nation artist Jashi, but the entire Jamaica. Shaba's manager, Charles Zanadu Ennis, referring to the country of Shaba's birth as that country, is irresponsible, disrespectful, and wrong. The very country that honored Shabarangs with an order of distinction, the Jamaica that made him who he is today at that country, seriously, I think these comments reflect and confirm an arrogant and ignorant mentality. What 
what are you saying really? Calling the young youth a piece of shit, it is sad that these are the very people who belittle, label and criticize ghetto youths and inner city communities as ill-mannered and unruly. This statement adds life to and confirmed the very view that the First Nation boss Jashi was expressing during his interview with Anthony Miller. In my opinion, this statement is laced with racism, classism and hate. While the statement is a very unfortunate one which requires a public apology to Jamaica, the hard to keep up artists remain steadfast and focusing being the difference in the dancehall community. Then he captioned it, this lunatic referring to Xanadu, that's Shaba's road manager, needs to apologize quick and fast because first place him dis Shabba for comparing Jashi to Shabba then him dis Jamaica that made all of us by saying that country also calling the kid a piece of shit no management speaking those languages and since nobody knows Jashi why took it so hard then I guess everybody know him now though repost from Atari Hype Music young youths are gifted too no one see it no make for no one man legacy they are for all of we reap. Massive, do you agree with Bounty Killer? Said this road manager Zanadu needs to come forward and apologize. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I watched an interview with dancehall artist Joshi, and I can't help but frown upon the prejudices that exist in Jamaica. Joshi is evidently a hardcore ghetto youth, he lives what he knows. He is a product of where he's from. So he is true to himself. And you have him in an interview. Had he gone to UTEC or UWIC and graduated with honors, no media person would have gone to Grand Spring to interview him, to publish his life story, to motivate other young men who want to be like him. No. But because you all, media personnel, are logging on to the, um, to the, to the, to the, to the music which is also an easy way to a bread for you too, not just the artists. You know, interview these kids and think you know, can intimidate them. Now the young man turned the interview around. Now he might interview the interviewer. You understand? And because of his presentation and, and, and his appearance and, and, and the demographics that he represents, he's now a bad person. Had Bounty Killer or Ninja Man or Junior Gang or Caperton or Sizzler done the same interview, it would have gone viral. But because it's a kid, early 20s, it's, it's, it's the age discrimination. It don't mean nothing now because I want to look at you to say it. You understand? But everything that Joshi said in that interview needed to be said. Respect Joshi, big up yourself. A lot of you guys who have made it in this industry become millionaires. You want to tell younger kids how to do it, but you're not giving them a helping hand. If you're not help, shut them out, man. If you're not doing nothing for you, they not, not criticize them either. Allow them, make them do what they do. Let them do it how they know to. Because you did not teach them anything. So therefore, you have no input into what they're doing. Josh, you tell us he's drinking on the interview because he's celebrating. The only way to a media interview for a ghetto youth is music or sports. Even if them go to college and become the greatest attorney QC, you're not going to see them. So let the youth them celebrate. And the elders who are not supporting the youth, allow them to man. No, have nothing to say, man. No, have no input. No, have no input because you were not there when they were trying to break. You were not there to have for them helping and So allow them. So that's it for today, Massive Mountain. I beg up on a nice, clean self. Enough love, enough respect. Blessings upon blessings upon blessings. Positive vibrations going out to the Massive. I'm out of Massey. I'm gone. Mount of Massey. Mount of Massey. Covering the latest in Jamaican music and culture. Like, share, comment, and subscribe now. now. now.